What is up guys, this is Zach from Anglers Escape and today I'm at Walmart and I'm going to show you guys if you're going catfishing, all the stuff to buy if you walk into Walmart, the baits, the hooks, and the rod and reel. So let's go ahead and get started with the most important piece and that's your rod and reel. Now Walmart carries a lot of Ugly Stick and Shakespeare and these are one of my favorite catfishing setups. They're a little more expensive than the other off brands but it's worth it. So this setup right here is 50 bucks, you can see 50 bucks for the ugly stick combo and what you want to do is you want to make sure look on the rod itself make sure it says at least medium heavy to heavy and you want a seven to eight foot rod so this is a seven foot medium heavy rod and then you want to make sure that it can hold at least 20 pound test line this can hold up to 30 pound test line so this is a good rod to go it's 50 bucks so while ugly stick shakespeare is my favorite walmart brand for catfishing there's a lot of other off brands so right here like for example there's a cat hunter pro again you're just looking for something that's seven to eight foot tall medium heavy to heavy and can hold up to 20 pound test line all that information should be on the rod but this is 10 bucks cheaper i would still go with the on brand the thing that i know that works well and that's the ugly stick so this is 50 bucks versus the one that's 40 and the one that's 40 is a foot longer but i really don't trust some of these off brands but sometimes you can find some good deals out there all right guys and now for the fishing line i'd really recommend at least 20 pound fishing line but if you're gonna be fishing some botters with some bigger fish i'd go to that 30 50 pound monofilament Another nice thing is braid. Braid is really thin, so you can fit a lot of line on there. Unfortunately, it's about three or four times the price, but braid, you can get up that really high pound test line and still you don't sacrifice that casting distance because it's so thin. So just be aware, but again, get at least 20 pound test line. If your body of water has fish up to 30, 50, 60 pounds, then I'd go ahead and move up to 40, 50 pound monofilament or 40, 50 pound braid. All right guys, the next thing is your terminal tackle. So you wanna pick up some hooks for the worms. I definitely recommend some size two to size one hooks. If you can get circle hooks, great. Unfortunately today, they don't have any size one or size two circle hooks, so you just go with the J hooks. They work almost as well, but you have to be a little more ready to set that hook. For live baits or cut bait, I would be using anywhere from size five aught to 10 aught hooks. And this is about a buck 50 for this pack of five right here and the circle hooks are nice because they're self-setting you don't have to set that hook so i definitely recommend them for catfish but again worms size one or size two and then live or cut bait you're going to want to use that five aught to ten aught circle hooks the next thing is weights you want at least a half ounce bait sinker if not a little bit more anywhere from a half ounce to two ounces to get that bait sitting on the bottom real nice and give you some casting distance and finally guys pick up a pack of swivels really cheap 84 cents Here's a pack, I'd get at least size three. Let's go ahead and finally talk about the baits, guys. All right, guys, and finally, it's the bait. Now, when you go to Walmart, you see all these catfishing baits, ignore all of them. These dough baits do not work. These catfish in a bag do not work. Yes, you might catch a catfish here and there, but there are a ton better baits out there. What you want to do is you want to pick up a thing of Canadian night crawlers. These are in the sporting goods sections in the refrigerator, usually. Go ahead and use a full worm on that size two or size one hook. And you, the nice thing about these worms is you can go out and use a really small piece on a real small hook. Catch yourself some bluegill and some live bait. Cut them up, use cut bait and those live bluegill. That's your best bait. Another good bait from Walmart is chicken livers. So if you want to pick that up, but that's not even in the sporting goods section, that you just go over to the meat section and pick up the chicken livers. But again, get the worms. You can use it to catch bluegill and other live bait. And the smaller channel catfish will love the worms. The big catfish, you'll be catching on bluegill, which you catch with the worms. But don't waste your money on these dough baits and these shad in a bag. They really don't work that well. So guys, I hope you try one of these tips, and as always, good luck fishing. This is out of my way out of the store, and I couldn't help but notice I found some catfishing rods for 20 bucks. It meets all the criteria we talked about. It's medium to medium heavy, and this is a medium heavy right here. And it fits up to 20 pound test line, and it's seven to eight foot. It's a seven foot rod, so it meets all the criteria, and it already has some line on it. So it's got 20 pound test line, seven to eight foot, medium heavy. This for 20 bucks, I honestly would probably test out even though it's an off brand. It's not like a Shakespeare or an ugly stick. There are some great opportunities to get some great deal at Walmart for some good catfishing rod and reels.